Join me as we uncover everything you need to know about the brand new EcoFlow River 3. We're going to be putting this through here to the test because the River 3 is packed with new features and functionalities, including things like UPS, even longer battery life with it too. So we're going to go ahead and put it all to the test right here. Coming up right here on CTG. If you guys like tech, my name's CTG. You can also call me Jesse too as well. But right here on CTG, we're here to help you guys out with product reviews, especially home and tech items. If you guys like those things, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there. If you like technology, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and YouTube will also suggest videos like this one here, even if it's not on my channel. So give it a thumbs up. So one of the brand new features of the River 3 that we're going to be testing out first is the brand new UPS system. Now EcoFlow went ahead and moved that system into their brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 and they actually also moved that same system into the brand new River 3 2 as well. So now you don't have to worry about like large devices to be able to do things like CPAP machines, Wi-Fi routers and things like that. We'll also talk about longevity with it too about how long this year is going to last you for how many uh, devices that you can go ahead and run and, and a whole lot more. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So the very first thing, cause I do like to kick it off strong is testing out the UPS system. So what better way to test it out than a bug zapper? Yeah, I like using a bug zapper because that allows you to go ahead and see the lights actually flicker, flake, whatever it might do and get you a good idea how quickly this may switch it over or will it fail. So the nice thing about the River 3 is that UPS system, but I don't know if it's really going to be successful or not, what the use cases will be. But the one thing I do like is that I could use it for my Wi-Fi routers as needed. So this is kind of the setup. So I do have my little uh, my little outlet right here that we're going to use it as a power simulator uh, for us. So I can go ahead and turn it on and off the power and basically demonstrate a power power outage, for example. So the first thing I wanna do is actually go ahead and connect our River 3. So let me go ahead and grab the charging cable. We got the charging cable right now. So this also has fast charge, by the way, zero to 100% in just one hour. I have tested that myself. You're gonna notice it's already at 100% because before I tell you guys that stat, I need to make sure it's right. So let's go ahead and plug it into our tower over here with it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that it's also running power to it, and it is. So a couple different things. Uh, so they kind of changed the way that this actually runs because with the UPS system in here, it's not charging the battery and then you using the battery. It actually has a bypass in here. So when it's 100%, this is gonna go ahead and actually just bypass it directly into the outlet for you. So that way you're not using up life cycles uh, with your River 3. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our bug zapper. There we go. So we have our bug zapper plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn this guy here on. Oh, you know what, I need to turn on this first there we go got that turn on now our bug zapper is running imagine this here being like your wi-fi router or whatever device that you want to go ahead and have it uh running for you so we have that right there running we're going to go ahead and take a look at our display here and we kind of see our display right now right now it's showing that our input is 19 watts and our output is 19 watts now it's 20. And so you're going to see that this is going back and forth basically the same exact wattage with it why is that it's because it's bypassed right now so it's going directly in from our wall outlet directly into our bug zapper over here. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and simulate a power outage. So you guys ready? I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here and it's going to go ahead and stop the power going into the River 3. The River 3 is going to think that that is a power outage and it's going to go ahead and automatically turn on the UPS system. This is supposed to be 20 milliseconds or less. So let's go ahead and test this here out. Everyone pay attention to the light over here and let's see if it flicks. Ready? One, two, three. There was a very slight flick and that was it. That's, that's like, that was like less than a second. So that was like 20 milliseconds for sure. Uh, so it has successfully done that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our display right now. So we can see our input right now is at zero and our output is now 20. So it is now actually using the battery. Okay, that's cool and all, but what happens whenever the power comes back on? What happens when the power comes back on? So we're gonna go ahead and simulate the power now being restored into your home. Here we go. So pay attention over here. Let's see if we can see a flick uh, or if we're hearing kind of noise. Ready? Ah, uh, I heard a little click and now it is restored. I saw a little flash over here. So now it is restored and now we're going in bypass mode. It is charging up the battery. It's charging up the battery right now. That, that power outage loss that we had. 
So it's charging the battery and it's also doing bypass. So it's actually going ahead and doing both of those for us. This here has 3000 plus life cycles. So that's 3000 plus charges on it. Uh, so that's nice. So it's gonna last over a decade of regular use. So this is a good little system right here. Uh, it has 245 watt hour capacity built into it. But the crazy thing is they actually changed the technology around. You guys know those power banks, right? The little power banks. And you ever wonder how they can actually basically uh, power up more devices in such a small kind of container with that. They basically took that same technology, same battery and stuff like that, and have that now inside of the River 3. It's like the first of its kind inside this model. So now if it's under 100 watts, it can run like twice as long. So a Wi-Fi router on the River 3 can actually run like 30, 31 hours um, on a single charge, which is crazy insane. Uh, especially with this year being 245 watt hour. The cool thing is you can also plug in battery and you can also plug in solar panels into it as well. Cause on the side over here, you have your solar panel input. So you can actually do up to a 110 watt solar panel for you. You can also use the DC core, which they also do include. So we can also plug this right here directly into our card, also charge it up that way with it. Or you can just plug it into your wall outlet and charges it up in about an hour. Or you can use the gas generator too to also be able to charge it up. So a lot more technology built into this thing right here uh, with it. I do like the UPS system. That's probably one of my favorite features um, with it. I mean, that's kind of like a game changer, especially for such a small device. It weighs about 7.8 pounds all together. The nice thing is this, they also made this super quiet. So I've been using it for about four days now on and off. I've been testing out the UPS system and I'm charging it up and discharging it up. And I will say this thing has not made a peep. So the next thing we're gonna do is charge out how loud this thing is. How loud is it? It says it's 30 decibels. So let's go ahead and test it out. Here we go. So we're going to turn this meter on. Now I will say I do have other things running in the background over here. I have computers running in the background, server running in the background. So it's gonna have a little bit of noise, but uh, with me talking, you're going to kind of see that I'm in like the 70s ish or so. So I'm going to be quiet. Right now, we're still running the bug zapper off here. We're going to go ahead and do a, simulate another power outage. So it is going to go ahead and run that battery. Here we go. You guys ready? There you go. Mid 30s. And that's with the other noise kind of going around the room with it. So what do I think about this right here? Pros, it's quiet, it's fast. I like the fast charging. Love, love the UP. I also like that it's smaller than the River 2 uh, with it. So the River 2 is just a little bit taller than this. They both have close to the same capacity. The downfall is, is that this does have a little bit less capacity than the River 2. So the River 2 has 256 watt hours. This is down to 240. But the technology for items under 100 watts kind of makes up for that too with it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.